Hey guys, today I want to tell you about one of my favorite websites on the internet. It's Twitter. Now I know a lot of you are probably on Facebook, some of us are friends, uh, but you may not be using Twitter. I actually like Twitter better than Facebook. Facebook is a good site, but I actually think that Twitter is a really cool website because it allows you to connect with people that you don't know. With Facebook, you have to friend people that you know, but with Twitter, you can follow people you've never met before. If they share your interest, if you think that they're an interesting person, then you can follow them and you can learn a lot from them. This is the main Twitter page. Let me show you how to sign in and how to start following people. This is my account. My username, if you want to follow me on Twitter, is GreenAE. Now, once you sign in, you can see my account here. These are all the people that I follow, their most recent tweets. You can see I follow 237 people, and there are 130 people who follow me. That means that whenever I post something on Twitter, they can see it. Now, when you create a, an account on Twitter, the first thing you want to do is create a profile. You post a picture of yourself, use your real name, that's important, people won't trust you unless you use your real name, and then say a little bit about yourself, very short. That's the point of Twitter. Everything is really very short. You can see I've actually posted about some of the things I've been doing in this class. Okay, I posted, I've been working on our program's blog all day, okay? Um, I posted a link I found from a coworker. One of the teachers in our program shared a very interesting link, so I posted it on there. Short, very short updates, okay? My favorite football team, LSU football, is number one right now, number one in the nation, so I posted about that, okay? I'm really excited about those things. Simple, short post about the things that you're interested in. And you should put those in your profile so that people know that if they follow you, that you will write about, for instance, for me, being an ESL teacher, liking LSU football, I like technology, food, wine, movies, and TV shows. So people who follow me know that I'm going to write about those things. If they have the same interest, they also can follow me. Now, when you search on Twitter, you can search for things that you're interested in. So you can search, for instance, ESL. It will tell you people you can follow. This is really great. Rosetta Stone has some wonderful resources. You can follow them. ESL Podcast is a wonderful website that does a podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday in English. It's an excellent, excellent site to follow. I follow them on Twitter, and uh, they're wonderful. They have great podcast. Let's go back here and let me show you what else there is. It also shows you people who are tweeting about ESL. For right now, it looks like some people are tweeting in Spanish or Portuguese about ESL, okay? But they also have uh, other tweets about ESL. You can find people, then, who are interested in English as a second language and therefore might be able to help you improve your English. It's a great way to connect with people who have the same interest as you. And it's a good way to practice your English. Very simple English, but you can find lots of people who are willing to speak with you and talk with you. If you're planning to join Twitter, please let me know. Like I said, my username is GreenAE, and I love finding new followers on Twitter, so uh, let me know. You can follow me on Twitter, and I'll follow you back. 